sasa narifiwa moja kwa moja tuende, tuende katika eneo la Gigiri kwani Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kwa sasa yuko katika eneo hilo ambapo anazungumza kuhusiana na uhusiano wa kibiashara kati ya Kenya na taifa la Marekani hebu tusikize barriers and geographical boundaries some of your companies have managed to rise to this expectation including for example General Electric and Coca-Cola who have been represented in this country for many years I am indeed very happy to say that they have been responsive and also adaptive to our needs with the result that both sides have benefited immensely from that partnership. So I also urge the companies that have signed some $100 million worth of deals last year and the many more that we expect to sign this year to emulate these two companies. This approach advances Kenya's development agenda while at the same time grows your businesses. The third point that I'd like to raise is partnerships are also increasingly multifaceted and interlinked. Together with our neighbors in the region who are participating in this forum, we are proud to be part of our East African community. Kenya is also a member of the Common Market for East and Southern Africa, COMESA, and we were amongst the first signatories to the Continental Free Trade Area Agreement. All these partnerships are built upon our shared desire to develop regional value chains, enhance inter-regional trade, and achieve economic prosperity, not just for Kenyan citizens, but for citizens of our entire region. We therefore seek deeper and stronger business-led partnerships with the United States taking advantage not just of our domestic markets but more importantly the bigger sub-regional and continental markets. This way we are convinced we stand a better chance to achieve on a much more substance, uh, sustainable basis solid growth and prosperity for all our peoples both here in Kenya, in Africa but as well as the United States. Your theme of this year's uh, AmCham Business Summit is partnering for prosperity. This, I believe, is very fitting and also timely. Kenya and the United States have recently raised their bilateral relations to a strategic partnership which gives Kenya certain privileges in working with the US government. Under this partnership, we have established a trade and investment working group with a clear mandate to deepen and to strengthen trade and investment relations between our two countries.